If you've ever wondered what the difference is between how much space a cord of wood takes when it's loosely thrown versus how much space it'll take when it's stacked, today we're going to find out. If you've never wondered that, this would be a great time for you to start wondering, because if you're not wondering that, this video might not be as interesting to you as it would be if you were wondering. I'll give you a little moment to start wondering. Now that we're all wondering, you may also be wondering why some of the angles here might look a little bit wonky. That's just because we're on a little bit of a slope. Now we'll get down to business. This trailer is 10 feet long, 5 feet wide, 3 feet tall. If the wood is stacked up to the top of this first sideboard, that's 2.5 feet tall, so that would make 125 cubic feet. A cord is 128 cubic feet of stacked wood, so that's just 3 cubic feet short of a cord. I'll just add a little bit to it to make it a full cord. What I'll do is I'll take these rounds, run them through the splitter, loosely throw them into the trailer until we're up to that first sideboard, then I'll heap it up just a little bit to make it 128 cubic feet. Then I'll dump it out, reload it, and stack it in and see what the difference is. Since I'm only throwing the wood in, it's not going to be a full cord, but we'll do the math to figure out what the ratio is. Then with the math, we can figure out what a real cord is, thrown in versus stacked. It's going to be a lot of unnecessary work for me, loading it up, unloading it, stacking, restacking it, but I'm willing to do it for science. Let's get started. I won't make you watch me split the whole thing, maybe a little bit, just so you can see how my operation works here. We'll get it loaded up, then we can start having some fun with math. That was fast. Now that I'm loaded up, I'll take this up to a flat spot, dump it out, reload it and stack it so we can compare the difference and see if I can stack as fast as I can split and load.
instead of dumping it all out, I just let it slide back a little bit so I have room up front to start stacking. All this wood will be right there, easy to grab. Wow, that was fast. If anybody watching is involved in anything to do with movies or anything upcoming with The Flash, consider that to be my audition. You can see the amount of space left over. Let's measure this, see how we came out. This stack is a little bit less than half of a stack. I'll measure two a little bit less than halfway through the stack. That comes out at right at seven feet. Since the length of the bed is 10 feet long, and the stacked wood only took seven feet of that. That means the stacked wood took 70% of the amount of space the loosely thrown wood took. And if you do the math, what that comes out to is a full cord of loosely thrown wood would be 183 cubic feet, which is actually close to what I've heard other people say. I've heard usually around 180 cubic feet. What I did here just confirmed that. In order to get a loosely thrown cord in here, I would have to pile it up about four inches higher than these sideboards. Did any of that make sense? I know following numbers on YouTube isn't easy almost as hard as talking about numbers on YouTube. To sum it all up, either that or make it more confusing, a cord of wood tightly stacked will take 70% of the space that a loosely thrown cord would take. A loosely thrown cord will need 30% more space than a tightly stacked cord. A stacked cord is 128 cubic feet. A loosely thrown cord is around 180 cubic feet, or what I came out with was 183 cubic feet. That can vary a little bit depending on who's throwing and who's stacking. A cord of wood is not always exact because one person stacking, it can come out different than another person stacking. There'll be a little bit of variation. That's enough math for today. Maybe on the next video we'll do something like cut something up or make something fall down. We'll end this one on that note. But while you're here, speaking of firewood, look at that nicely stacked stack of wood. Whatever you do, don't look at the other side. I don't want you to see how uneven and ugly this side is. I had it all stacked up straight, but now it's starting to lean south toward the sun. Maybe one day we'll talk about stacking firewood. And I can tell you about my great grandma's theory about why Stacks of firewood always end up leaning toward the sun. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.